Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be building one of these. It could be used for a coffee table or an end table. It's like in between the height of both. Um, it's just something I wanted to put together. A client wanted me to do something different for them uh, for a small space that they have. Uh, so I came up with this, <laughs> partly inspired by uh, one of my favorite TV shows, Star Trek, Starship Enterprise. So. I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you how I put this together. It was real simple. It took about um, one eight by four sheet of plywood. So we're gonna get right into it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, share. Uh, if it's something that you see in the video, if you wanna see me do anything else, please leave comments in below. Um, hit that subscribe button. Keep you updated on all the new videos that I have coming up. Thanks, let's get into it. I wanted to start with the lake. Wasn't really sure how I was going to do it. I knew it want, I wanted to have a curve to it, but I wasn't sure exactly how deep the curve was going to be. So I started off with the plywood, measured it out. Once I was able to uh, create the template for it, that allowed me to create the other part. So I could just put it on, trace it out. I really like this machine that bandsaw is a lifesaver. Trace it onto another board, cut them down to manageable sizes, and then I can just trim off the excess from there. Once I had all the legs cut out, all the parts of the legs cut off, I just stacked them on top of each other, measured them out. I wanted to try to keep the inside of the leg as flush as possible. It's easier to sand on the outside than it is on the inside. Just held it down with normal wood glue and brad nails just to give it that stability. And took it over to the bandsaw to trim off the outside excess as well as the inside. And everyone's favorite part, the sanding. Just trying to get it as even and flush as possible. Even with the bell center 120 grit, this took a little bit of time because I wanted to make sure that the curve stayed. At this point, I just wanted to hand sand it to prevent any indentations being created in my orbital sander 220 grit. Now, time for the base. Using a half inch spiral bit with my router. Back to sanding. The router bit chipped the edges on this one. So this one took a little time to get it back round. I wanted to add a small shelf that would sit right under the top in between the top and the bottom, but something large enough to sit remotes on or small books. I just picked up these quick clamps and they are awesome. I recommend you get some. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now for the top. I was satisfied with the overall look of the table, so time to stain. I wanted to keep the wood grain from the plywood visible, so I put a clear gloss epoxy on it and then used a mahogany gel stain on the remainder of the table, top and bottom. These little bench cookies are great. They allow you to stain and you can stack your item on top of it and it'll still be able to dry without being laid flat on the ground or on your workbench. Took a round over bit around the top just to give it some character and for the second coat just did a quick 320 uh, grit sand put the second coat of stain on. I wanted to give it some feet and stay in the character of the circle so I made circle feet Cut them down to manageable sizes, trimmed off the excess. I stacked them so it's three fourths, so about a half, an inch and a half tall per foot. Simple wood glue, a few brad nails to hold it together. Back to sanding. I used a uh, countersink bit so that the screws would, would be flush with the wood.
Now the client has uh, wood floors, so I wanted to make sure that it was able to slide around. So I would add uh, felt pads on after I get them mounted to the table. So I just used one of the feet from the table to measure out the felt. Took it over to my favorite tool, my bandsaw, just to cut them out. Uh, three in total. Use a little bit of liquid nail just to help with the adhesive to the wood. Uh, sometimes the uh, adhesive on the felt pads will come loose, so this always helps. I always give it a firm push down to make sure that it's on there even and that uh, the adhesive is spread it underneath. Now at this point I wasn't really satisfied at the thickness of the top of the table so I wanted to make it thicker so I cut out another piece to add. They give it a better look in my opinion. While I had the top off may as well go ahead and start sanding to put my third coat on. And here is the finished product. I was really satisfied with it. I like the way it looks. It has nice depth and symmetry to it. Pretty sure the client's going to be satisfied. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe below.